back free speech police 2020 hopeful Elizabeth Warren is turning heads with her new policy proposal that would criminalize political disinformation online. But what about her less than honest path? Live to debate Republican strategist Aaron Elmore and Democratic strategist Raul Alvalar. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. Democrats uh, should have a plan. Um, not only Democrats, but also Republicans should also be concerned about this as well. Aaron, does he have a point? I mean, Facebook was roundly criticized for ignoring warning signs of election interference in the 2016 election. I mean, I think the Constitution is the most important document in the history of, uh, of United States of America. So this is completely bogus and would never pass constitutional scrutiny if this law were to go through. But the irony of this is Elizabeth Warren is a pathological liar who is prone to hyperbole. So really, you could cut the irony with a knife here. She is saying dissemination of disinformation. What does that even mean? Are we going to have like the fake news police going around with their tiny handcuffs, arresting people and throwing them in jail? We're talking about serious financial financial penalties and going to prison. So this is something that you have to take very seriously. But as indicated, this would never pass constitutional scrutiny. And let's say by strange Elizabeth Warrenisms, if it did pass, who is going to police all this? It just doesn't work. Yeah, Ro, why don't you respond to that? Because some people really don't need to look at and make sure that we are protecting the American voter. Uh, and that's the most important part. Aaron, I'll give you the final word. What scares me most is that he used the word appropriate. And whose decision is that to make? We have to be really careful. This is the United States of America. We are a democracy. We are not neo-Bolsheviks. This is not a totalitarian, totalitarian regime. We are America. So let's keep those values that our founders wanted us to have yeah. and have free speech. You guys speech. both make very excellent points. Social media is sort of uncharted territory, so we're all just trying to navigate it. Aaron Elmore, Raul Alvalar, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Do you assume?